Today, Bear Soborowski is stomping his new light-up shoes down the halls at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. They're joyful steps in his long journey. When CBS Austin first introduced you to Bear, he was about to start dialysis. Unfortunately, dialysis actually failed for him after about a two-month period. Whoa! Mom Mallory explains that escalated Bear's need for a transplant. The would-be rambunctious toddler was wearing down. Then, the call she and Dad Keith had been waiting for. Not only had someone gone through the whole process of testing, but that they were a match and that they were ready to proceed and ready to schedule a date. It felt like my whole body was vibrating. I was so excited and so happy. The following 90 seconds just went in slow-mo. The extreme joy followed by nerves and anxiety. It was like, oh, please don't let this be too good to be true. That high high was definitely followed by a lot of questions and a lot of pondering, um, especially knowing that for a time our donor was anonymous. This week, for the first time together, the entire family met their donor, Jane Callahan. It's so good to see you. Again. It's so great to see you. Oh, look at the second of her black. Hey, oh. hey buddy, you you big hugs. And I kind of felt like outside of my body uh, with, with that meeting. It was surreal, one of the most beautiful moments of my life. Jane, a mother of two, teacher and fitness instructor, first learned about the Soborowskis after coming across this CBS Austin news story. His story just popped up on my phone and I clicked on it. If we had a living donor ready to go, we could go tomorrow. Now they're looking for that person, willing to give a kidney since donors can live long, healthy lives with just one. When I read it, I just saw that he was A positive. I'm like, oh, I'm A positive. And then it said that they needed a smaller person because he's two. And I'm like, well, I'm a smaller person. And then it said that he was local. Jane called to volunteer as Bear's potential donor and began extensive testing. There's like a match made in heaven. Dr. Eileen Brewer is Bear's doctor. When we have a living donor, we can schedule everything. Everybody can be on the top of their game and things just go better. I just feel like that's what God was calling me to do. A stranger no more, making the dreams of Bear's parents and all who love him come true. <laughs> what really touches me just to see how, it'll make me emotional, to see how Mallory, you know, is very happy when he received a kidney and I really wanted to give because I thought, you know, if that was my kid, that I would want someone to do it for me too. Bear and Jane forever connected through one life-changing act of love. My best friend was like, but, but what if your kids need your kidney one day? I'm like, well, then I would hope that someone else would do the same for me because someone needs it now. The woman Bear's family calls an angel, answering their prayer shared far and wide through a news story. What if that news story didn't run? Where would we be today? Where would we be with the transplant journey or with dialysis? Where would Bear's health be? Ultimately, the stars aligned and I, I, I feel that God put us all in the right place at the right time to make the right decisions to help save his life. <laughs> they needed someone and I felt like I was that someone. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.